Hey guys and welcome back to a new Timbermates video. In this video you're going to see Brandon and I build our ICF foundation walls and then fill them with concrete which will complete the basement section of our walls. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you can follow our journey of building our very own ICF home. The first step here is to snap our chalk lines. This gives us a really straight guide to follow as we lay the ICF blocks. And now it's just like laying Lego blocks. So Brandon is what I would call our master builder. He's built quite a few ICF homes himself. He is the one who designed our house, and there's a reason for the way he designed it, so I'm going to let him explain that. We tried to design the house as efficiently as we could. We wanted to make the best use of the blocks, also our time. So there's 18 blocks plus four corners make an entire row. The house is 50 feet wide and 30 feet deep. Each block measures 8 feet long and 18 inches tall. So we actually only cut two blocks because the balance from the cut fits on the other side. Again, with the window placements, we put them between two rows at 36 inches tall, and this made us not have to do any additional cutting to fit the basement windows in. So the rebar goes in the middle here, just clips in. So I gotta figure out how these go. They're supposed to hook in here. Something like that. Um, what you're looking at right now is the rebar for the brick ledge. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta bend like. all these. We need like 60 of them. So it's gonna go over that last uh, one and then tie in to that one and then down. So. So at this point we have about five rows of blocks put up and it's time to put up our bracing system. And what this system does is basically braces the walls so that as they get taller they get supported and it also doubles as the scaffolding to be able to walk around and do the wall pour. We're doing a total of seven rows before we do our first pour of the basement foundation. Now it starts randomly raining. There's big old drops coming down. It's been so hot this morning. Oh my gosh. Brandon's been working hard out here. I've been out making videos and editing. You're amazing. This is the view from up top. Pretty cool. Now it's time to put our floor joist hangers in. So they stick out like this, and then there's a saddle that goes that we'll show later. But yeah, these just, we cut a slit in the wall. You slip through like that. And then, the inside here, they slip in so that the tab sits against the ICF. And it's not required to have rebar go through them, but make them a little bit stronger. So and then when the concrete gets poured, it holds these nice and steady. And then we can hang our floor joists off them. We install rebar inside the forms 
for strength and based on the manufacturer's specifications we have charts for this that we follow so we put rebar in below grade charts and above grade charts so we're going to slide the rebar in horizontally and vertically and this is going to reinforce our entire wall Yeah, I guess so. Concrete showed up yeah. at 7.30. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Here we go. So our first pour, we're doing our basement walls today. This is incredibly exciting, also very stressful. Uh, we really hope that we mathed it out and we have a correct amount of concrete, that the pump shows up, that the three trucks that are coming show up and we don't have any blowouts or air pockets. We had our first truck show up just a little bit early, uh, not a big deal. Uh, we had a good pump operator, um, so here we, we're pouring these walls. We've got 120,000 pounds of concrete we're pouring into these walls in just under two hours, made of foam. But we braced them well, everything went pretty good. Uh, the concrete was just a little bit dry, so we have, uh, we're have we running a vibrator to make sure we have no air pockets and making sure that everything is solid throughout. And all in all, everything went really well. Here we are running a string line to make sure our walls are nice and straight. The scaffold and bracing system is adjustable so it moves the walls in and out. So we run a string line to level the corners and then we run a string to make sure the wall comes out nice and straight throughout. Thanks so much for watching. We really enjoyed making this video. We hope you enjoyed it as well. If you haven't subscribed, please do so so you don't miss a thing. Next up, we are doing our own beams. We're going to mill them ourselves for our floor system, and then we're going to be putting our floor joists in, and then we'll be starting the process again for our upper floor ICF. Stay tuned.